It's the MIDI hoard on the dirt box. But before that, let's take it to the beach and test it out. Hello all, Aaron here again and today we're out testing the MIDI Horde. Now this is the higher end of the children's detectors released by Nocta Macro. Now, I need somebody to help me use it. And this is where Amber comes in. How old are you? 15. 15. So, top end. This is the sort of thing that you want then. Have you metal detected before? No. Never? No. All right. And here we are, we're in Porchester. We've got the fantastic castle in the background. And I'm led to believe that over here, just behind me, the holes in the wall, apparently monks used to do big poos from them. So, yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? That was from our historian just off camera there. That's what he told us. Hello. So we're gonna detect the beach here. This is all part of the uh, Crown Estate, uh, this foreshore here. So we're okay to do it here. Obviously not in the castle grounds, but this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the, uh, the midi hoard on the foreshore here, Amber's going to use it, going to run her through some of the uh, the functions, how to use it and things like that, and then it's away she goes. We'll see you at the first hole. Let's dig. All right, do the pinpoint for me. Let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah, let's have a little look-see. If you want to give that a scan, make sure we've got it. We have, so it's something rusty, but it's something. Let's have a look what we got. So we got, and now the ears, it looks like a screw or something like that. How oh, oh, yeah. genius I am. Hey, look at that, it turns. What the? Yeah, that's interesting, okay. Uh, not quite sure what that is. But yeah, we've got something. It was rusty, it was poo, but <laughs> we found it. All right, you carry on, let's see if we can find something else. Okay, so we're jumping around. And how deep would you say? Two. So two of those notches, so that could be two to four inches. Yeah. Pinpoint it for me. Um, I think that might be a bomb of some sort. So if you could just see the front of it there, yeah, comes up to a round, and then there's a point, as if it like a projectile. See that? Yeah, I think we found a bomb. Okay. <laughs> I think. Looking at that, yeah. You can see that's smooth. Wait, I found a bomb. And there's the point where it comes up to a point and it's flat, yeah. So it's either. The business end that's come out or it is uh, a, bit, a bit of a bomb but yeah you would you would need a, like a hammer to break off all the corrosion but I always suggest hammering a bomb yeah yeah <laughs> but there you go as you can see you see the shape of it there and it comes up to a flat here and it's sort of like curved I, I should find a bomb there you go so yeah it could be a, a bomb or a projectile business end so yeah, that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> nice. Nice. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Um, do, we, do we take it home and hit it with a hammer? Yeah. We'll take it to your house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's live, but you can see, look, and there's a hole in there. Probably wouldn't be. See, so it's like, yeah, it's... Yeah. We got, we got a possible bomb on the beach. Lovely. 
feel a bit fancy now. I'm bloody bomb. <laughs> so there's something there. Yeah. How deep's it saying? Three and it says uh, gold. Or three, three. So it's a mid tone? Yeah. Right, let's just move that over. in the clay so it might not be too deep then because with this clay stuff doesn't sink so well, too much it kind of stays you'll give that a sweep for me now you'll see how the tone is getting a bit clipped yeah so that when you've unearthed it it'll tell you whether it's good or not once you've got it out the hole it then changes the signal to say, actually it's poo. So, see how it's gone from mid-tone to iron? Yeah. So let's have a look what it was then. Okay, so it's about there, yeah? Yeah. I think it's small. I think we've got a crushed coin, maybe. Looking at that. Looking at that, you can just see there's a coin under there, and it's all encrusted. So it's every chance it was picking up on the copper of the modern coinage but also you've got the iron core which has leaked out and you've got all that stuff stuck to it but I'd say that's a penny so there we are put a silver ring in the hole we're about four five inches down at that depth Okay, nine carat gold ring. Let's put it in the hole and we'll see how well we get on. Getting on alright with that. Targets are all over the place. But it's hitting that. And the final thing we're going to test it on just here on the beach. 2p. Okay, so 2p. As you can see, nice repeatable signal. Yeah, during the summer holidays, Litlands would have no trouble finding spendables with this. Easy, easy. seen it on the beach we didn't find much uh, we did find a projectile could be the business end of some sort of uh, ammunition I don't know it could even be a bomb no idea I didn't fancy chipping off all that uh, crust that was around it thought it best just to leave it anyway so we've got the midi hoard 
We're going to test it now on the dirt box and we're going to use the same targets that we use every time we do the dirt box test. Yes, I know it's not a box, I know it's a tub, and I know that this isn't as good as a test bed, but it's a little bit better than an air test, I think. It's somewhere in between the two, isn't it? It's not scientific, it's just a fat bloke poking stuff into holes in a tub full of mud. That's all it is. That's all we should take it as, all right? It's not scientific. Don't go overboard here. Let's test it. Let's see how we get on. Let's take you through the settings of the MIDI HUD, just in case you didn't know. So we've got on and off switch here. We've also got the discrimination, the notch. This side we've got the sensitivity and the volume, and then the pinpoint here at the very bottom. So we'll turn it on. And there we go, full discrimination, full metal, all metal mode. If you want to notch out the iron and the mid-tones, we press this button. There we go, and then again. Now taking them out, press it again, it brings them back in. And on this side, we have sensitivity. As you can see, that's full sensitivity. Turn it off, mid, high sensitivity. Volume, press and hold, and you can see the volume changes. There we go. And on this side, press and hold to turn it back off again. There we go. So, gonna run it, full sensitivity, nothing notched out. Let's see how we get on. Going in with a big penny. Okay, so that's eight inches on the big penny. Going in now with a half penny. Uh, it's getting something. Just, yeah. Okay, so there's a little bit of something there at eight inches, but it's definitely getting it at six. Going in, a little silver thruppence. Just getting it at six there, silver thruppence. Now we're testing it with a grotty Roman. Yep, I think six inches on the grotty Roman is the best you're going to get there. Going in with a chunky silver ring. Six inches on the silver ring. And last, Going in with a nine carat gold. Eight inches on the nine carat. So there we go, 
the MIDI horde on the dirt box. Some interesting results there. Not super deep, but then again, you wouldn't expect it to be super deep because I don't want to use the term toy because this is just more than a toy, but this is for children. This isn't an entry level machine for somebody who's looking to get into the hobby. This is a toy for children. It's a children's detector. It's fully submersible, completely waterproof. As you can see, got discrimination on it and things like that and also it's got the IDs on it no VDI numbers but then again a kid doesn't need those sort of things and and anything say 14 15 over you'd go for a simplex this is just for kids six inches up to eight inches on some of those targets you wouldn't want your little and digging any more than that though would you I doubt they would mind you they might do but anyway great little machine you saw it on the beach, you've seen it on the dirt box, and that's how it got on. If you want one, there is a link down below. Head over to LP and see if you can snap one up in time for Crimbo. Or if you're watching this video after Christmas, you never know, summer holidays, birthday, whatever. Follow the link down below, grab yourself one of these. If you are heading out, good luck, happy hunting. Don't forget while you're here, maybe check out one of these videos on screen. I'll see you again next time. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Ta-ra.